Okay, so I have these two light fixtures, which I want to zhuzh up. I've been collecting this box of granite to do something on my light fixture. Okay, in this video, we are going to make some Kelly Wurstler inspired lighting. So I've been collecting marble pieces, rock, stone for about a year now. And I purchased some thin pieces of various river rocks and natural stone from this antique mall. And I always knew I wanted to make something sculptural, some sort of like um, lighting feature or wall accent. But every time I would play around with it on different like um, light fixtures or vases or candlesticks, it just wasn't right. And I was kind of insecure because you know how like when you want to do like a DIY project, hold on, this wig is a lot of curls. I'm not used to wearing such curly hair, so I gotta keep it untangled. But you know how when you're wanting to do something a little bit avant-garde, you can feel a little insecure because you don't know what people are gonna think. And then I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Signed Andrea, and she was using some of her marble for her light fixture as well. So I'm like, let me give it a go. Sometimes all you need is a little inspiration from a fellow creative to go along with your idea. So let's create this light fixture. What we're gonna do is we are going to use our various pieces that we've been collecting over time. And then we're gonna use this um, circular Marquinha marble cutting board that I bought probably like five years ago. I really love Marquinha marble. It's like from Brazil. It's black with bright white striations. And we're gonna take a hammer and we're gonna cut it into pieces. And then what we're gonna get, try to do is we're gonna try to figure out how to assemble it on our light fixture. So I just wanna show you a couple of pictures from the Kelly Wurstler book. Now this one, which is called Synchronicity, it's not my favorite, I like her first one better. But so she's really, really avant-garde. Everything she does is like sculptural. She, she's really, really creative. She's always been one of my favorite designers, but when you Google anything out of her book, it's super expensive. She's always incorporating some piece of natural stone with rocks, always natural materials. And it ends up being really, really expensive. Now I have a few stone pieces, but even like her coffee table has natural um, shells inside of it. If you look at her Malibu beach house, it's got beautiful bunch of natural stone. I was really inspired by this dining table. This is probably one of my favorite looks out of her book. You see the natural raw edge of the table. I really want to create something that has like a natural raw jagged edge that's not so like polished and refined. I actually prefer honed granite as well. Look at this page that is nice as well. You see that light fixture over the elevator, how it's like the black and white um, stone. I want to make something bright and geographic like that. And so let's um, just assemble this piece and see what we can come up with. Again, this is a Kelly Wurstler inspired look, but of course it's not gonna be exactly like hers. I don't have oodles and oodles amounts of money. I've already tried to create this art piece right here where it looks like the canvas is being pressed out where I've used my Sculpey clay. So th that art piece right there is inspired by Kelly Wurstler, but let's get on with the light fixture and see what we can create. This is another look right here. It's very elegant and I think we can make something like this. I really like this detail, but I wanna adhere something to the back gold portion and there's two of them. So I really like to use two part epoxy. It's a really strong adhesive. I've used it around my shower to add a little marble detail. I use it on frames. It's really good on stone. As long as you're not gonna be hanging off of it, it's pretty good adhesion. And I like to use a double-sided tape so that I don't have to stand there and really hold on to it while it cures. I can use a double-sided tape as a temporary adhesion. Okay, so my green granite had actually cracked, but I'm leaning into this design because I do like the patchwork effect that other designers like Leanne Ford have used when they make some of their, their granite backsplashes. They'll use a collage of various remnant pieces, and I think the look is really beautiful.
Okay, so now let's work on the other side. You may have to use a little bit of tape just because these pieces are pretty heavy. And so after it's cured, this is a moment of truth where we peel off the tape. Okay, here are the light fixtures. One right there, one right there. What do you guys think? It was like, it took me a second to do it. I had to like arrange it all, make sure that it was cohesive. So what I like most about these lights is that when you turn the light on, they look even more beautiful, more custom. I definitely can see this something see this as something that's being sold in big box stores i love the patchwork design and this is something you can easily create at home go to various remnant yards and i like how see how the green rock is cracked i just leaned into it and i like that pop of brown i'm really into the fact that the granite and marble do not match i added that pop of lavender yes i really like this look and what i love most about this project is that they are sisters and not twins i love how they don't match exactly and that just gives it even more je ne sais quoi another detail i like is that raw edge just like the one we saw in kelly worsler's table i wish more of the pieces had that jagged uncut edge i also like this detail right there it's fossilized you know that's the same um, look you get in a lot of travertine pieces, but yes, I love the raw edge and the fossil detail on the stone Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video there and make sure you go pick up one of Kelly Wurstler's book I like the evocative style better than syn Synchronicity, but you make your own choice which one you like better, but you'll get a ton of ideas and I will see you guys next time